All right, guys, so moving along, we are talking about text. So uh, over here, you can see that we have the uh, T for text tool. So that's what we're going to start off with. Um, you can click uh, that and click on here, and it's going to ask me if I want to add a text layer, which I do. Um, or if that's not working, which it's not from here, I'm going to click come here and add a text layer that way. OK. So it'll give you a standard, um, <laughs> it will give you a standard text box. All right. Um, we can uh, type in our slogan, um, our header, um, which is for this because it's, you know, talking about, um, you know, it's for moms <laughs> who are out in the garden. It's um, get, Get dirty. Um, stay beautiful. Okay, because it's talking about like you want to keep your hands lovely and moisturized while you're getting dirty in the garden. Okay, so that's an appropriate slogan. Now let's talk about how to format this. Um, you have to be in the text box to format it. So first thing, uh, we're going to make sure that's that's on. Next up, we are going to change the font. So first of all, let me move myself here. You can see all of these uh, preloaded fonts. Um, the one that I chose was Georgia. All right, cool. Now, if you wanted to use a font off of Defont, you can add local font, click there, and then select um, the TTF or OTF file that you downloaded, right? So it's just like uh, when we did this in Illustrator, but actually it's sort of clearer because it says add local font. All right, so you can download fonts and add it into here to use. So, but we're starting with Georgia. Cool. Um, color, right? So I wanted to pick a color, so I just clicked on the color, and I didn't want to pick it from here. I wanted to go use it automatically uses your color picker, so I can come in here and just go get a really dark purple, right, by going in there and using my color picker. Next, nice. Um, size, right? So that's good. Um, you can, you know, come over here and type in or change the size here. Oh, I need to say okay. Cool. So we can do different sizes. 80 is fine for me right now, but different sizes. Um, continuing on, we have settings. So this is uh, sort of our paragraph. So I can make this a little bit closer together. All right. Excellent. I can do letter spacing. Do I want it more densely or farther apart? Cool. And we have alignment. So I'm going to align this over to the left. Um, I can also make all of this uppercase, italicize or bold it. Okay. Cool. So um, I'm going to bold that one. Next up, we have styles. Uh, so that was settings. Now we go on to styles, all right? So styles is important because this is, um, it's hard to read text oftentimes when it is, um, when it is like on top of actual pictures. It, there's like no contrast there. So things that we can try are, for instance, we could do a background. So automatically puts a box behind it, right? Um, so you can do for line, the full one, the line, or individual words. Um, I'm not a huge, and you can change the color. I like doing it individually with color boxes over here um, because like I can't change the opacity here. So I'm gonna, gonna use that. Um, what I am, you can do an outline, so you can change the color and change the size. Uh, not doing that one again. Um, we're going to use a drop shadow. So the shadow, um, I'm going to pick a color, um, and maybe I'm going to use the green. <laughs> so there you go. I'm going to use a green drop shadow here. Um, and then down here we have some options. We can have the blur amount. 
is it really blurry or not blurry? So we'll leave that. I'm gonna zoom in here a little. For now, there. Let's try that again. All right, so I'm going to, uh, all right. So first of all, the blur at the bottom, we can do the opacity. So I'm gonna bring the opacity up so I can really see it. So I'm gonna bring that up to like 95% opacity. Um, you can do the horizontal position, so like move it around. I'm gonna keep it off to the left. Uh, off to the right, excuse me, or you can bring it up and down. Again, I'm going to bring it below, and you can see the blur. Do you want it hard edged? So that's going to be zero, or do you want it really soft? You know, that's going to be 100. So I'm going to keep that. I want mine at around, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do 24. Cool. So that is that. I can X out of there, zoom out, and I can move that up here. All right, there you have it, all right? And uh, on my original example, I did another box, which would be making a new layer, making uh, a rectangle, and just lowering the opacity. So if I show you that, right? So that it was there. Um, so to do that, what I did was, again, I would make a new empty box. I would choose the color that I want behind here. And I would make a rectangle the size that I want. OK, so that is naturally on the top. So I'm going to bring that down. All right. So it's behind. I can scale and do anything like that. Um, but I also want to lower the opacity of this whole thing. So I can come to my layer. See the three little dots there? Um, excellent. Let me move myself out of the way. Um, and we have transparency of that entire layer. So I can just bring that down and lower it. All right. Awesome. So um, nice. Um, and that is that. Um, oh, so this is not scaling uh, the way I want, so I'm going to go to free, and that will let me scale it up. Perfect. Cool. So up next, what we're going to do is add uh, the body copy text. All right, so that is the same stuff, right, text box. Do I want to add a text box? Yep. Cool. So for this particular one, same sort of color, same font. We're just making it significantly smaller. It was like a 12 or something like that. No, no. I think it was 23. Now, uh, to, to change the size of the text box, right, I can move those. So uh, what we did, we're going to add our text here. And actually, let me just show you this. So let me find that layer. So turn that back on. OK, so zooming in, the body copy that I made up for this is spring is here, get out into the garden, but keep your hands smooth and moisturized with Crabtree and Evelyn's uh, gardener's hand therapy. Excellent. So it's communicating uh, the main point of the ad um, quickly and concisely. Um, so what I did is I just made this. This is, uh, if I go into text, you can see 17 points. It's aligned to the left. It's in line with this. It's the same sort of color. And if I wanted to change the sort of like how compact this is, I can come over um, to the side here and pull that out or pull that back in so I can have it fit into the space much better. All right, excellent. So that is how you deal with your typography. All right.